we can't be surprised by institutionalized racism that is endemic at the grass tops of the height of the environmental movement. This is a persistent problem that has been with us, not only in environmental organizations, but in their funders, in some of their leading, quote unquote, leaders, ostensibly weak leaders, no doubt, as well as some of the members of the, of the rank and file. This is a persistent problem going back really now a generation, a generation and a half, the, the problem of environmental racism. It's not just a problem of the siting and placing of hazardous materials in communities of color, but it's also the problem of the persistent lack of leadership of color and diverse voices in the rank and file as well as at the top of the environmental movement. Nothing surprising here. The problem, though, is how will the environmental justice response, how will the response that's around this table offer up not just to correction, but push forward with the path to go forward. That's what we got to think about.